3. Wedding of Arable Land Land Exchange Livestock Arable Farming The Return of the Water Welcome to the wetland areas of the Danube River in southern Germany, specifically the Swabian Donomos. Here, peat soils have formed over thousands of years from organic matter. 200 years ago, humans began draining these peat soils for agricultural use, initiating a process with unforeseen consequences. When the organic matter in the peat soil comes into contact with oxygen, it begins to decompose, releasing large amounts of greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change. Currently, approximately 95% of Germans' peat soils are drained and primarily used for agriculture and forestry. Also, peat soils represent only a small portion of Germans' agricultural land, about 7%. There are a significant source of greenhouse gas emissions in the agriculture sector, accounting for almost 40% of sectoral greenhouse gases. However, this process is reversible through the return of water to the landscape. Rewetting projects offer significant potential for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Using a water pipe, river water is redirected into the peatland area of the Swabian Donomos. Additionally, the drainage system must be closed to retain water in the area and raise the groundwater level. With elevated water levels and waterlogged peat soils, carbon remains permanently sequestered in the terrestrial system. A central question in raising water levels on former agricultural land is how can farmers continue to generate income from these areas in the future? Conventional farming is not available on rear wetlands, necessitating a shift in agriculture management. Grasslands can be used as wet meadows or pastures, where livestock adapted to high water levels, such as Scottish Highland cattle or water buffaloes, can graze. Another promising agricultural use is the cultivation of bog plants like reeds, cattails, or peat moss, known as paludiculture. These plants can serve as construction material, insulation, or biofuel in biogas plants. The Arj E. Donamos and other institutions collaborate with a small number of pioneer farmers to research the profitability of this new type of farming, a blend of agriculture, climate protection, and nature conservation, all intertwined with water. This innovative approach we refer to as climate farming. Climate farmers play a vital role in climate protection, particularly in peatland areas. Many farmers, traditionally food producers, have also been producing renewable energy for over two decades. Now climate protection on peat soils has to be seen as a new agriculture product. For farmers, transitioning to a paludiculture system entails business reorientation and specialization, presenting a challenging decision. However, farmers are willing to embrace climate protection if it offers a long-term, economically viable perspective. Political support is crucial to establish favorable conditions for agricultural climate protection. One thing is clear. To combat the climate crisis effectively, water must be reintroduced into the landscape, and we urgently need climate farmers in wetland areas.